back from five days away in Ottawa, Canada. Shall we do a fish room tour? An around the world fish room tour? I think we shall. All right, fishy folks, not gonna lie. I looked around real quick and I uh, wanted to show you what I found. Unfortunately, I found another L129 dead. Uh, and a bunch of crap in this tank. I don't know what it is. And I don't know where the dead L129 went. Ugh. I also found over here a dead guppy. Lots of fry. Maybe she died giving birth. I don't really know. But there's still cucumber left that I left five days ago for the blue phantom pleckos in here. And snails. So I don't know what's going on. I really haven't looked around other than that. Then I thought, you know what, let me get my... Uh, let me get my camera out and, and show you guys kind of live what I see. There's fry in the swordfish tank, finally. Let's see, one, two, three that I can see. I would assume there, there were more, um, but without feeding these guys. Oh, there's a four. Without feeding, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just keep counting. I'm sure I'll find them. Uh, I didn't have anyone feed these tanks while I was gone because it was only, I left Monday, today's Friday, so they didn't need to eat Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they'll eat now, they ate heavy before I left. The auto water change system was on uh, while I was gone, so uh, we have a little filter casualty over there. Let's take a quick look around, see if we can't find any other things we need to address. Not that I can see so far. There should be fry in this tank. Although, maybe there was fry in the eat them all. Oh, there's fry. See? Right there. So there's one. So there's probably a bunch more hiding in the debris. That's good. I like these guys. They're pretty cool. Uh, something looks amiss in this tank. Like, there's no... Nobody's hiding. There's nothing to hide in down low. That's interesting. So... Alright, uh, lots of fry in this end. I think, not lots, I think there was another drop while I was gone because there's quite a few little tiny babies. So that's good, these are the black Moscow's. They are 100% black with delta tails. They look fantastic. It appears there's more fry in the mutt tank. Oh, there's a couple of dead ones too, look at that. How'd that happen? What the fruit is going on here, folks? I don't know. All right, these angels look okay. They're always hiding in the back. Um, grow outs. Quick, let's take a quick look. Quick look, quick look. All right. Well, folks, I'm going to feed and uh, turn the camera back on maybe a little bit later and give a full tour of what's going on here. I just wanted to be upfront and honest and not scripted and hiding stuff. I had some death in the fish room while I was gone. And uh, to be honest, I'd like to see if that black ghost knife is still alive. See if we can't see him in his pipe. Hannah and Leia are fine. And the big pleco is fine. All right, hold on. Let's, let's grab an implement, a tool if you will, and see what's going on. Oh, oh, I think I saw, yeah, no, that's a fork. That's not a fish, you dope. Um, anybody see a black ghost knife lying around? Black ghost knife, where are you? All right, hold on. Maybe you're a good hider. No. Where could you have gone, Black Ghost Knife? Plucko fell. Plucko from Super Cichlids at Lisa Gaming. Oh, almost fell in the water. Let's move that over here. Where do you think the Black Ghost Knife? You Black Ghost Knife people, where do they normally hide? No. Oh, no. 
I know they're they're hiders. Not in there. All right. Well, I'll have to look around. They're not jumpers. I hope they're not jumpers. No, not back there. All right, folks. I'm gonna take a look around the fish room. I'm gonna feed. I'm gonna take a look around and film, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. So we lost an L129 and a couple guppies and i'm a little surprised that the black panda female in here that's ginormous can you see her back there has not dropped fry so all right i'll be back all right fishy folks let's do the around the world fish room tour han and leia are doing well han looks like he's growing a little bit faster than leia and uh, the giant pleco is down there. And I can't find my black ghost knife. So uh, I don't know what happened. While I was gone, I don't see a carcass. I don't see anything. I'm hoping I'm just missing it, but if not, it kind of sucks. All right, let's check out Chunky Gold Medina, the fantastic looking goldfish just chilling, and the two platies. Uh, that I put in here temporarily until I rehome them probably unless they're oh they, I think it is a male and a female maybe I will keep them I don't know we'll see I don't really have room for these platies we'll check out some snails and plecos these are the L144 lemon plecos doing well kind of uh, destroyed this cucumber there's one just chilling hey Lots of snails, no problem with that. And this tank is one black panda female and a pleco somehow got in there. I don't remember putting a pleco in here. It must have come in a clump of something, but I see a pleco on the, on the filter. So that's interesting. And of course we have Bruce, Bruce. What's up, Bruce? Then we have the red dragon guppies with some juveniles and some fry. Looks like there's two separate batches, perhaps. Let me see if we can see any more. There's some more in there. Maybe it's just one batch. Anyway, looking forward to these guys growing up. And of course, there's that one platy in there. Uh, in here are supposed to be bristlenose plecos. But uh, I don't, I don't see any. I thought I saw one before. Maybe they're in this piece of wood. Oh, there's one. There's two. There's two in there. So I think there's two in here and one up in here, which would make the three. That makes sense. Now in here are supposed to be six. I think there's six left of the L129 false zebra procos. Plecos and the um, glass belly guppies. Um, I don't see any plecos. Um, and there's still a lot of debris on the bottom of the tank. I gotta clean tomorrow. I'll do a a real cleaning. Maybe we'll see. And yeah, this tank is kind of a disaster. So I'm going to, uh, to clean that up tomorrow. Look at that. That's a disaster if I've ever seen one. On to other tanks, though. Yeah, let's start here. Uh, Blood Red Wag Swordtails. Really not floating my boat anymore. Probably will be giving these to the local fish store, selling them. If you're interested, shoot me an email. I will make you an offer you can't refuse. Here we have the Hyphen uh, Swordtails. Tuxedo Swordtails. I don't know what we call them. Um, I bought six at auction and they turned out to be all female so I got that one from my local fish store I had them order it special for me and they had some fry while I was in Canada I think we counted five or six before so I'm sure there's some more in there I'm sure there would have been more if I would have been here to feed them and saw them but that's what happens when you travel for business here are the jade heads I forgot I saw these today and I forgot what they called them Gosh darn it, the video I released today, I filmed today, I saw it today. There's also supposed to be two blue phantom plecos in here, which 
I would really love to see. Oh, she looked like she was about ready to drop fry too. So, blue phantom plecos would be nice. I'm messing this tank up something fierce. Oh, oh, I thought there was one there maybe. I don't know. Did, what the? I don't know if I see them. I'm going to have to maybe maybe check another time, folks. But Zlatan, the beast, the legend was in here. And another Pleco. This is great film work here, guys. I know. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll check around back when I'm done. All right, let's go, uh, let's go down low first. All right, well, while we're here, we'll look at the Epistos. I didn't really expect much since there was no food in here for these guys this past week, but... Uh, tomorrow or this weekend I will attempt to clean the tank and maybe drop the water a little bit add some cold water See if we can get one of these ladies to spawn um, Down low we have the Black Panda guppy tank There is quite a few fry as you can see But I did sell out of adults. I have one female in here. You can see and one female in uh, the tank behind me up top and that's it for females. So they are currently not for sale as I let some females grow out, uh, some adults grow out. Here is the chocolate molly tank, which I keep saying I have to do something with. I don't know what I'm gonna do something with, but I have to do something with it to get some more production out of these ladies. So this, this tank should be teeming with fry and it's not, so. Um, all right. Let's move on. We're going to take the chair and move this way. We're stuck on something. All right. So, here are the angels that I was going to send to Kim. Kim, I apologize again. They're just way too big to ship. And, uh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. They're too big to ship for the price I told you, and I feel bad now, but... Anyway. Yellow Cobra Guppies. Uh, there was fry in here when I left. Maybe there still is fry in here if we're lucky. But, these guys are growing nice. Uh... Huh. Yeah, there's fry right there. There's fry. And my poking stick. I thought I lost my poking stick. See, that's what you poke the plants with. Look, so you can poke and not get your hand all dirty. Yep. These are just hyphen platies. Scrolling some out. Probably will get rid of these as well. All right. Then we'll go up here. Here we have the high fin layer tail sword tails and uh, lots of fry growing out. There's a couple of adults. So yeah, these are just grow out. So these are really cool when they grow out. I gotta gotta do a little bit more more maintenance and perhaps power feeding and get them to grow faster. Uh, these are the steel nebula babies that that not steel nebula, no, these are the pink pastel steel nebulas, yeah. That uh, the only ones I had left there after I killed the whole colony by adding a ginormous heater to make them grow faster. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done. But that's that. Uh, we'll see when they grow if I have boys and girls. They look like nothing right now, but we'll see what happens. Mike's Mutts on sale at the website. Don't forget, use promo code SPRING18 for 18% off your entire order. But these are now on the website. I think there's a special five for $20. And uh, I'll just put pick a, pick a five good ones for you. But you can see there's a ton of fry in there. There's a ton of, of really nice colors in here as well uh, to mix with. If you're just looking for some fancy guppies and you... Uh, oh, there's a there's one that has died. i got to check this tank out because we found some more on the line low on the bottom. So i got to check it out, see if they just got caught in the muck or what's going on. Anyway, we move on. Black Moscow's, lots of fry in here, a couple juveniles, really nice guppies. <clears throat> These also are on the website now, 
you can see how big that female gets. She's probably going to drop about 600,000 fry. Um, but these guys are pretty cool looking. These were supposed to be the American Koi Guppies, but they're not breeding true. But the whole generation, these are all from the same family, so you can see how they're going to look. They are on the website as well. And of course, there's the Plecos in this tank. See how prolific breeders they are. There's fry everywhere. Uh, bluegrass, redgrass guppies. So it looks like there's two different generations and some calico plecos. You can see one right there, right there, right there on the wood. Um, pretty cool looking guppies when they grow out. Let me show you what, what the, the males look like because there's only females in there just to drop some fry. So there's a bluegrass right there and a red grass swimming towards us right there those are the same guppies those are just the males um, i bought some off ebay and i think i only got two females or three females and that's what's in here probably hiding it ready to drop all right lime green cobra guppies uh, as i said before there should be frying here based on how long i've had them and how big they are and how long i've been away and there's definitely some fry in there so that's good I don't know how many i'm assuming we had a little bit of a loss because they got eaten because i wasn't here to feed the guppies so one of my tricks to colony breeding is uh when i know there's fry i overfeed one so the fry get bigger two so the adults don't want to snack on the tender deliciousness but that's how i do it black mollies both layer tail and non-layer tail Another colony that I probably would get rid of if the right offer came in, but um, they're on the website as well. Snow White Mollies with, I believe, some guppy fry in there. Um, I bought them at auction from Super Breeder Steve. It was a great deal. Now I'm thinking, why did I do that? I don't really, I mean, I like mollies, but I don't really love mollies. I'd much rather different guppies, so. Um, pink Candoplatis, just juveniles right now. Uh, I don't know, there's about 20 in there. Just growing out in here, really nothing special going on in this tank. I took most of the java moss out since they don't really need to hide to drop fry because they're not dropping fry, so yeah. All right, top shelf, folks. Top shelf, red wag platies. Nothing really to say there. German half black AOCs. One of these is going to Mr. Posey, and I think it's that one. I'm pretty sure that's the nicest looking one and i think that's the one he picked out in california he bought them a couple weeks ago wanted me to ship them next week when he had a tank all cycled and that's what we're gonna do so i think it's that one we'll see this is the red russian lace tank and there's a female right there and uh there's a bunch of snails and i'm sure if i poke around in there i'll see more at least i hope i'll see more fishies uh, there's some up in the top in the back you can't see because the reflection and the bubbles some fry and I see some reflections off the top of the water but at least I think I do maybe that's the red from one of those ball valves we'll have to check that out uh, new guppies on the website as well check them out see how the big black dorsal fins and the uh, beautiful tail and the silver body. Those males really look spectacular, if you ask me. You can see all the fry in there. Um, take a look at the website. I will be shipping next week, I believe, based on current weather forecasts. Cobra guppies. Really nothing special about these cobra guppies other than they are fantastic. Look at them. Look, look, look. So, yep. Uh, Jarwee Lazuli Guppies. These guys, where are they? There's one. Can you see how blue they look? Can you see how blue they look? Wow. I guess that's right. Can you see how blue they look? Yeah, that's right. What am I saying? Um, looks like a bunch are hiding in the back. There's one. Pretty prolific, really nice looking guppy. Um, has a scissor tail. You can see a big male hanging out in the back on the website you can use the discount code if you prefer a second tank of cobra guppies uh this tank i tried to keep more green than red but they they drop both they throw both kinds so 
You can see a different kind, different couple kinds in here. That silver one I probably should pull out. I'll do that when we're done. Lots of fry. You can see a Japanese uh, box filter that needs to be cleaned in there. All right, moving on. Blue diamond guppies. Oh, hey, finger. Blue diamond guppies. Um, all of these appear to be females for now. But I think when some of those juveniles grow up, they'll be males. I hope like that might be a male. But uh, I sold all my males by accident and uh, just waiting for some males to grow up to sell some more. Over here we have the Japanese blue lower sore tails. These guys are fantastic. Some of them throw double sore tails, which are really nice. And typically there's a little bit of yellow when they throw a double sore tail on the top. It's pretty spectacular. Nice little guppy if you have a nano tank. Well, that looks like it's just a one neon sore tail thing. But these are the half black guppies. Um, just juveniles growing up. Here are the Tanaka Maple Leafs also on the website. Also a great small little guppy. Um, you can see they're red. They kind of look like an all red mm, co uh, cardinal tetra, sort of. Maybe not. Moving on. <laughs> Purple Deltas. These are the ones that I sold to Angelo that I kick myself every time because I gave him the best looking guppy I've ever had. And it's dropped about, and the pair that I sold them dropped about a thousand fries so far. Quick little story, I was supposed to meet Angelo today when I met Eric Fishman up in Ottawa, but uh, timing didn't work out. He had something way more important to do than meeting me, and I had to hop on a plane, so. Yep, half black, no, red, mm, red tux guppies. Really doing well up in here. Uh, there's some fry since I left, which I don't see any now, but I saw some before. I mean, some of these guys are huge and they look great. Here are Steel Nebula Guppy females. And uh, I believe I took the males, yeah, I took the males out and put them in my mail tank. And there was fry in here. This is the only tank I actually didn't clean recently. See all the, the brown on the glass. Do you see any fry? I don't see any fry. Maybe we lost all the fry. Let's look. Take our poking stick, move it around, and see if we see any fry. I don't see any fry. Maybe they all got eaten in the week I was not feeding them, which would kind of suck, but they're pretty plump, so I'm pretty sure there'll be some more fry soon. Here are American Purple Deltas. These are from, um, Daniel Anderson down at Hypnotic Aquatics in Florida. Look at that male. Is that not fantastic? Uh, lots of females. Waiting on some more males, but you know, that's what happens. And finally, the all male guppy tank. That's what the American koi guppy is supposed to look like. Obviously, they don't look like that now. There's a couple of red grass, a couple of. Uh, wow, look at that male. A couple of um, steel nebula males in there, so. Yeah, fishy folks, that's it. That's it for the tour, I think. Did I miss any tanks? Yes. I missed the red cobra guppies down low. So we got the, the male tank and the female tank. Let me see. I didn't check for fry. I wouldn't expect any fry to survive um, because there really is way too many females, not enough food and not enough hiding in here. Although I do have this dwarf sag. I don't see any fry. I didn't really expect any either. But these are all the females. And these are the males. Lots of juvenile males in here. Good looking guppies though. Alright fishy folks, now that my hands are all wet. I think that's it. It's a pretty long tour. Around the world fish room tour, missing a black ghost knife not too happy guys check out the website michaelsfishroom.com use promo code spring18 for 18 percent off your entire order probably gonna go to the end of the weekend um 
maybe we'll extend it we'll see how many orders we get and uh don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh you know email me if you have any questions michaelsfisherman gmail.com we'll leave with saying goodbye to bruce